And on the eighth day, God looked down on his beautiful creation and said, I need an educator. So God made a teacher. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, plan lessons, teach all day in the classroom, plan more lessons, eat lunch, go to meetings, stay after school preparing for the next day. So God made a teacher. I need somebody with a mind strong enough to discipline and yet gentle enough to care for each student's education. Somebody to teach kids, discipline mischievous boys, shape a diamond in the rough, have to go to work through lunch to grade papers, and find ways to better help each student. And mean it. So God made a teacher. God said, I need somebody willing to spend extra time to motivate a student. And if they fail, then try harder and say, maybe next year. I need somebody who can correct grammar, teach the function of a cell, explain why 2 plus 2 equals 4, and how our founding fathers established our nation's freedom. And whose school year never ends, will finish their workday by the ring of the bell, takes work home to finish, then put in another 72 hours. So God made a teacher. God had to have somebody willing to see the possibilities of each student, even through the stubbornness, attitudes, laziness, and lack of confidence, but more importantly, changing these to make a brighter future. So God made a teacher. God said, I need somebody strong enough to challenge each student, yet gentle enough to know their potential, make their strengths stronger, and their weaknesses, their strengths. He will drop everything to make a student the first priority. It had to be somebody who would work through the weekend and summer without a complaint or expectation of anything in return. Somebody to change, educate, inspire, and teach, and mentor, and motivate, and spark curiosity, and influence dreams and endless possibilities, and finish a hard week's work, only to start it over again. Somebody who would inspire a classroom of students, create a relationship with them, who would laugh and then sigh and then reply with smiling eyes, when a student says they want to spend the rest of their life teaching like they do. So God made a teacher.